Hi, I'm Jim Linsner, and welcome to Getting Real with Double Bass Part 3. Things are going to get a little more hairy this time, rhythmically, but as far as the double bass goes, you're still primarily playing right-left, just two quick consecutive notes. The first pattern I'd like to talk about I call the unison hand fill. And um, once again, I'm going to play a single bass fill and convert it into a double bass fill. Um, this type of fill, the hands play in unison, and either I'm playing hands, foot, or hands, hands, foot. And I just put together some random combinations of those two things and come up with a fill. Here's what it sounds like. Now if I take each single bass note and convert that into right-left, you'll have a really intense sounding double bass fill. Here it is. As soon as you get comfortable doing that, then you can start orchestrating the pattern. Um, I like the sound of the right hand on a stack cymbal or a china cymbal and any tom or snare. You can also do the opposite. You can also do crash cymbal uh, with the left hand and play with your right hand around the drums. Here are some orchestrations. Alright, the next fill we're going to do is one of my absolute favorites. This is called, I call this the double bass sextuplet, and it's just right, left, right, left, bass, bass. I'll play that right now, starting slow and gradually getting it up to tempo. The next step is putting the double bass sextuplet in a groove. What you're going to do is you're going to play one sextuplet in each count. So you can play it four times in one measure of 4-4. Four, four. Here's what it sounds like with a groove. Hey, you know what? One thing I forgot to tell you about putting that double bass sextuplet in a groove is that at the end, you're going to play right, left, right, left, bass, bass, bass. So this is one circumstance where you're actually going to have to play three consecutive bass drum notes. Um, so that's important to know. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to orchestrate that sextuplet pattern. I'm going to play it a bunch of different ways on the set, and you'll be able to hear that you know, from one to the next, they sound quite different. So even though physically I'm playing exactly the same thing, I'm getting some different sounds. You know, check it out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a 16th triplet to that double bass sextuplet. Okay? Back in Getting Real with Double Bass Part 1, I talked about playing right, bass, bass, right, bass, bass. Here's what that sounds like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play the double bass sextuplet followed by the right bass bass, okay? And we're gonna create a fill that fits in 4-4 time. It's kind of confusing, but with sextuplets, you can fit 24 notes in a measure, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play sextuplet, right bass bass, that's nine notes. I'm gonna play that again, nine more notes, nine and nine is 18. I have room left for one more sextuplet, okay? 18 plus six, 24. I know that's all confusing, Forget about the math, just check out what it sounds like. All 
Okay, now let's take that pattern and make it sound even more crazy by orchestrating it around the set. All right, that's a wrap. Getting Real with Double Bass, part three. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please visit me at jimlinsner.com and please check out my book, Getting Real with Double Bass. Thanks a lot.